Friends, family and colleagues assembled at the All Saints Cathedral in Nairobi in a funeral service to honor the late Michael O'Year, a veteran broadcast journalist who passed away on the 20th of April due to complications arising from a stroke. As Michael Muller reports, Oye was eulogized as a dedicated family man and professional whose contribution to the media field will be forever remembered. In a solemn funeral service, friends, family and colleagues gathered at the All Saint Cathedral Church in Nairobi on Wednesday to bid farewell to Michael Oye, a veteran broadcast journalist who graced both the television and radio platforms. I've loved, I've laughed and cried. Oye, who worked with several media houses, including the standard groups KTN and Capital FM, passed away on April 20th, 2024, succumbing to complications from a stroke he suffered just two days prior. The funeral service held today paying tribute to Oye's impactful legacy. Close to three decades, his history and his life has been aged in USA and Africa and he's been able in a very profound way to impact lives in ways that we cannot explain. Even when Michael said that in his head it was already clear who the best man was. His family described Oye as a loving person with unwavering willingness to lend a helping hand. His widow, Dina Oye, saying he touched the lives of many with his kindness and compassion. She described him as a disciplined, royal and committed man. Michael was royalty. His sense of focus, discipline, being intentional, just pouring into lives, service, and his interactions were so deep that I could only say he was royal to me. Michael is that gentle nature, is the is a child that any, any mom would, would wish for. And I, I thank God that I've known Michael for all that time. It's very, very difficult to say goodbye, Michael. But because we have so many things, we had so many arrangements that we had to do. You know what you sent me to do. I promise you I'm going to do it. So God had a pl big plan for Michael. Oye, who was left behind two children and a widow, will be remembered as a man whose profound impact was felt in the country through the power of words and storytelling. Michael Oye will be laid to rest on Friday in his home in Dala, Kanyada, Katuma, in Omabe County. Michael Mulwa, Citizen TV.